Hey guys, so this is the fish I'm going to use today for the fish and soy sauce. I'm going to fry them first thing first. Fry them first, okay, and then the ingredients for the fish is just this. We're just using shallots and then some garlic and ginger. Yep. And also putting, oops, also putting in some chili. We don't have red chili, so I guess we're just going to use green chili. For the veggies, it's just carrots with green beans, French beans. Yep, that's all. Oh, I haven't prepared the onion for this yet, but later. So the fish is being fried. I'll just put one more. Oh. You know why I hate about frying fish? The oil will pop. So it hurts because it's hot. So now we're just going to fry that lightly. Not too crispy because we want to put it in a, in a soy sauce so we don't need to to fry it till it's crispy. Okay, so it's still frying. I think I can take it out already. Yep, that's alright. Let's put it here. Because it's very small pieces, so... Well, it's sort of crispy already, so... It's sort of crispy already, so it's alright. Okay... the life of cooking frying fish okay so we're gonna put in the links oh my god Ooh. it's like it's like fireworks Crazy. Ah. Crazy, crazy. Oh, God. That's the only thing I hate about frying this kind of fish, especially fish that has lots of water content. Okay, I think that's. Yeah. Okay, so we're done frying the fish ikan combo some of them got stick got sticky with each other but and some of them don't look great but that's all right now we're gonna do the soy sauce gravy okay guys so the oil is oh it's already heated up if you put this Yang kicap nanti jadi masin lah eh. Tidak ada minta ke? Oh. 
so for this we won't be putting any chicken stock because we are using this soy sauce and this is the sweet one and this one is the salty one so we don't need chicken stock or salt we're also going to put in some fish sauce Can you smell that? I think we're ready for the ketchup. Well, we call it ketchup. I have to be not. A lot of that because we're not going to make it. I didn't do it right the, the other time with the squid. You know, the squid in soy sauce. So I need to make this right. This, this is the salty one. Okay, we have more of that. We got more of that, so we put that there. So we put some fish sauce, just a little. Okay guys, mm, I couldn't, I, I didn't, um, I couldn't show you the video of putting in the fish because actually me and my mom were adjusting. <laughs> my mom was helping me to adjust the taste because Again, yeah, my mom was helping me because I couldn't adjust the taste. Plus, it got a bit too salty, so she helped me to adjust the seasoning. Damn, I this is my second time at doing this salsa, and I'm getting kind of stressed because why is it so hard? Because all you do is just use this, this, and that. But I guess you know, sometimes you need to know the amount. I guess I just rammed it like what ram my Rambo do to do what however I please so uh, I guess it takes more and more practice so that's that it's done I cannot believe but at least it's not as chai as liquidy too much water the last time I did there was too much water but this one is alright this is how it's supposed to look like with just a little bit of gravy okay so now it's time for the veggies I'll be using this one. We'll be using chicken stock because it's not using any soy sauce. Oops! Okay, I think I got a bit burned. Put some carrot. To make the carrots become a bit soft. Okay, so we can put in the French beans. Yep. Put 
in a bit more water so it cooks fast. Okay, so I'm gonna let it steam for a bit. Close it and let it steam. Okay guys, there you go. So this is the French beans. Okay. So I just put carrots and typical um, usual onions and everything. Okay, that's all.